Hi guys, it's here. So today we're gonna be reviewing a Dungeons and Dragons starter set here. I got it for my birthday. My birthday is today, July the first, and we're gonna be opening up. So let's get started. Here's the inside of the box. We got some dice. Let's see. We got a six-sided dice. 20 sided dice. I think that's a 9, 12 side. This is 20 dice. This is 12 dice. This is a 8 dice, I'm pretty sure. That's 7. This is 8, I think. And then that's some sort of triangle dice, I guess. Okay, so today we're gonna put that to the side as well. So today we're only gonna be looking at it and reviewing it. We're not gonna be actually playing the game. So this is the starter set, so we have the book, or well, story I guess, Lost Mine of Pandora. And this is the starter set rule book, and these are the character sheets. If you don't know what Dungeons and Dragons is, it's a game where you have a team of players, up to six people, and you... It's a role play game basically as it says on the box here. Everything you need to start playing the world's greatest role playing game. So it's a role playing game. And you choose a character. Since I got the starter set, they've already got one for you. So fighter one level one human is the race. Background is folk hero and it's a legitimate and lawful god and you could put the pl and then you can put the player name right here and the experience points you get right there and then you've got all the all the um things for your adventure and like your power level and your defense level so that's human we're not going to be reading all of this part right here we're just going to be reading this part actually we'll just read this you know what we'll read this part but we won't read anything else because that's going to take way too long. So this is a wizard, level 1, of course. High elf is the race. A yokotl is the background. And its elegement is chaotic good. So, okay, let's get this out of the box. Okay, this is a rogue level 1. There are a light foot halfling. This is, they've got criminal background, and then neutral is their regiment. Oh, here we have a cleric, my favourite role in person, big person, my, in my opinion, because I like playing support, I've played this game before. Uh, this is a cleric level 1, the hill dwarf, their background is a soldier, wow, and their regiment is a neutral good. Okay, here is a fighter, so I think the other human, oh they're also a fighter, so two fighters that are humans, but this one's got a different background. This one's got a noble background, and a lawful neutral. Ooh, look at this big white thing, I'm pretty sure this is the board. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the board, let me try to get it out. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the back. Okay, let's see. Explore subternal labyrinth. Plunge hordes of treasure. Battle legendary monsters. I'm suspect this one. And the Dungeons and Dragons starter set is your gateway to action-packed stories and imagination. This box contains every essential. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this has the... Oh, uh... It doesn't come with a board. Oh well. We can just play on a piece of paper if we're going to do a review. You don't necessarily need the board, I guess. You could do it in here. You could have like a giant arena, maybe. But this is the review. So maybe let's open these dice up. Do this one hand dice challenge. Okay, I'm going to open these dice. So I'll be... Right back. Okay, guys, here we have all six dice unwrapped from the plastic chamber. 
So this is a six-sided dice. I don't actually know what this dice is, so we'll just call it a triangle dice. I don't know what this dice is either, so we'll call it a diamond dice. But I'm pretty sure this is an eight-sided dice. This, 12-sided dice. This is a seven-sided dice. And this is a 20-sided dice. You can also use 20-sided, fun fact quickly, um, you can use 20-sided dice as a health counter in the game Magic the Gathering, made by Wizards of the Coast, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we'll just put those all in here. Okay, I've got these character sheets now. So on the back of each character sheet, it'll have an explanation of the race, a little box of, like something here, what they do in their role of fighter for the human, uh, this is their background section. So this is basically just a little story and how to do stuff as them. This is how they gain levels. This is uh, what you do on your second level, third level, fourth level, fifth level. And then you're proving your armor. This is basically this... Oh wait, here's a good example. So this is a wizard, so it's a bit different, I'm pretty sure. you still got all the race, bubble... Oh, this is what it's for. Okay, I just found this out. Like, two seconds ago. This is the names you can choose if you can't think of an imaginary name. This is, you, you've got your wizard role, background, and then here, gaining levels. And it says here, how to cast spells. So, like, I think you need, like, slots or something. And this is how to add spells to your spell book. Second level... First, third level, and fourth level, yeah, and fifth level. Um, halfling is the same as knight, I mean the fighter. This is, I'm pretty sure, cleric. So this is the same as wizard, just cleric roll. And then this is the same one. Here is the rule book. I'm not going to go read through this because look at how much there is. Really good art over here, though. There's also chapter one, how to play it. I don't think I'm going to do that in another video. <laughs> uh, your abilities, advantage and disadvantages, wisdom, how you can combat, and another bunch of really good art. Bunch of actions, items, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, knock a creature out. Adventuring. Here. And then you got all this. Wow, that's a lot of contents. Oh, these are weapons you can get throughout the game, I'm pretty sure. So we'll just keep going. I think these are items. Spell casting for people who play cleric and wizard. I might read this later. Duration, detect magic, all this stuff is in the roll book, so much stuff. We are not going to pack it all down today, as I've already said. Oh. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this content, it'd be really appreciated. You can subscribe if you want, it's really just optional, honestly. But let's continue, and this is the Lost Mine of Fandifer. So, when I went to go pick this up, there were two types. There was the external set, and there's the starter set, which is the one we have right here next to us. The starter set is basically the same as the external set, except it's got a more simpler story, which is Lost Mine of Fandevil. And um, the essential set has a more complex story that goes into depth. This is the introduction, the background, and you've got... A big old map over here. Oh, please, right, wrong way. Yeah, you got a big old map. It has some key points city, town, ruins, points of interest, peak road. So you got a big old map right there. I'm pretty sure this is story and this is how to be a gamekeeper. You got more map. Let's see. Ooh, I think this is where the story gets a bit interesting, I think. We've got some art here. Let's continue. Another map. 
Ooh, 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 that's cool. We'll look at that later. Uh, I think this is Ruins. Red Brand Hideout. I'm pretty sure that's someone's like a rogue base. He has a cool creature. He's got one eye. Uh, information, Spooters. Put a like on this video if you're scared of Spooters. Like this one, or this one. This one doesn't have any legs. Some a twisty tree, a dragon. Share this video if you like dragons. I think this is an elf character you meet later on in the story. Oh yeah, and this story, since it's the starter set, you get a shorter story, which is simple. This is a castle. This is a creature. A weird looking worm. An owl bear. Uh, gold. I'm pretty sure these are gold pieces. Anyways. Ooh, more map. Love maps. Look at this map. It's so beautiful. The zombie. Ew. The skull. I don't really like that. A uh, weird tentacle creature. Uh, people planning. Thing. Armor and information humanoid werewolf. I'm pretty sure. Information ogre. Cool. A weird flying skin rat. And that's it. If you would like to buy the starter set, I do not have them, of course. I do not stock them. But if you would like to buy one, maybe you could go to a shop that sells board games, and they might have them there. And I give this review of the game, or the set itself and how everything is explained, an 8. Because it might be a bit um, hard to explain, but I still think it's very good. And here is the gameplay review i think the gameplay review since i've played this game before once i think um i give the game review a eight as well because it's kind of confusing at the start but if you start to know it and play it a bit more then it was really good anyways guys i better end the video here hope you enjoyed this video Subscribe if you want, it's free. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment if you want. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!